Today, we're going to watch an Irish bloke uh, defend a traffic stop as though he's William Wallace fighting for his freedom against the English. Thank you, everyone, for joining the Common Sense Academy. I'm Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer. On this show, we take a look at sovereign citizens, First Amendment auditors, and people behaving badly. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Free way to support this show, which will always remain free. Looking to get subscriptions, so go ahead and subscribe. And before you roast me, I know the difference between the Irish, the Scottish, and the English, and I know William Wall was Scottish, but just bear with me on this fun analogy. Now, before we watch the video, raise your cup, your glass in the air. It tastes better when we sip together. I love coffee. You have a drink of your own choice. Cheers. Almost out there. All right, let's watch this video. A bit of a different format today, just changing things up for fun. So I'm going to pause and comment on this video as we watch. Here two months. I'm here four minutes. Has this lockdown okay. bullshit not gone on for two months? I am asking you People to... are losing their will and losing their income and losing their fucking lives and you are go along with this crap. Am I free to continue with my lawful journey? I actually don't disagree with uh, William Wallace here on that. Um, you know, people are losing their jobs, losing their freedom. Um, yeah, that's true. This is tough. Get your hand off my lawful property. You have not provided a name and address. You have not provided a driving license. Have you got insurance on this vehicle? None of your business. Um, unfortunately, it is. No, it's not. You didn't stop me for that shake. You stopped me under your bullshit fucking garbage coronavirus legislation no. now you're changing your fucking mind no it's not bullshit it's actually a pandemic that's going on at the oh moment. worse 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 show me okay. show me the pandemic Look, sir, nobody's going to be able to show you a pandemic. It's a virus. Google germ theory. You can't see it. Have you ever been sick in your life? Sir, if you, you just answer the question. Show me the pandemic. Watch the news. The fucking news. Yeah. Are you having a laugh? No. I kind of like that one there. I get a pretty good laugh from the news. <laughs> Are you fucking having a laugh? No. RT. What fucking news? Well, there's other news. Oh, come off with the same bullshit fucking crap. Do you not watch the BBC news? Shite. No. The BBC? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So the crime news. Oh, yeah. You want me to watch the crime news? No, no. I, well, you're saying RT is shite. Of course it's shite. Well, what's wrong with BBC then? Same propaganda. Pushing that same propaganda. What? That there's a pandemic. What? Where's the bodies? Which body? Where's the bodies? You claim there's a pandemic. Where's all the bodies? Well, have you watched any of the coverage from Italy or some of these other countries? There are bodies, sir. There are bodies. You think we're doing this for, like... You're doing this to abuse our fucking rights the same as you do it for every bullshit bit of crap legislation them you... wankers in Dublin right? Have you encountered any now, you're starting to cause me to overheat here now, so you're fucking causing me to overheat sitting in the heat. I, yeah, the officer's totally correct there. This guy's been overheating a long time right from the beginning. We're only two minutes in. I think he should have broken this guy's window by now, don't you? Overheating from the word go. Take your hand off my property. You're overheating from the word go. No. Okay. Yeah, damn right. Now. Damn right you're interfering with my constitutional right to travel this country. Yeah, you have a right to travel the country. Right, what's your oath to? Well, you, does he have a right to travel the country? Come on, officer. Your constitutional right to travel, does that exist? Are you also using fake law in Ireland to support this right to travel? So that's sovereign citizen quote number one. You What's your oath to? You your oath is to uphold that constitutional right. 
No, I do not have to do anything. You also have to provide documentation. No, I do not. Yes. No, I do not. You're obliged to carry it. I am not obliged to do anything under our constitution. Unfortunately, that is just not... That no, is. that is the case. No, it's that is the case, and you know it's the case. No. You know you're operating outside your oath. Am I? You have no authority to work on behalf of the legal system. What's my oath? To the constitution. You really don't see why we're getting upset with you. You really don't see why we're getting upset with having our fucking incomes destroyed. I'll tell you what, that level of screaming window, bang, should have been shattered. You out here harassing us, tax collecting, your revenue collecting. Yes, you are. What reason are you to stop me then? Revenue well, what reason have you to stop me then? We're oh, no, you aren't preventing nothing. You aren't preventing nothing. I'm not stupid. I know how viruses work. I know how viruses work. Not only is he a good screamer, he's a professional virologist. He knows how viruses work. Providing a quality service here. To who? To the state, to the people. Oh, to the state, you said it just right. Yeah. Not to the people, yeah. to yeah. the state. Well, Look it off to the interest of the fucking rich and powerful. I was there two minutes ago and said thank you very much for the great work you're doing. So did it. No, you're letting them go because I'm sitting here. No, you're letting them go because I'm sitting here and refusing to have my rights abused once again by you, once again abused by us. All you have to do is provide a name and address, a driver's license. Not required to provide anything to you. Our constitution clearly states that I have a right to travel this country unhindered unharassed, without fees, charges, levies, or duties being applied. Can I that has to be incorrect because there's fees, levies, there are tolls on all kinds of roads in every country in the world. You're wrong, sir. Plus, you're in a car. It's different. You can travel on foot. I continue with my journey. Just one second. I'm just talking to my colleague here. I can't Am I being detained? Am I being detained? Tip number two, he asks if he's being Just detained. Your and then you're free to go. I don't know what the big scene is over. You don't see what the big scene of abuse of our rights is over. I am not abusing your rights. Right. Do I have a constitutional right to travel this country unhindered, unharassed, without fees, duties, levies or charges being applied to me? Yeah. Right. Let no. me know. Okay, then you're abusing my constitutional rights. The very rights you swore an oath to uphold. Isn't that correct? I swore an oath to keep the peace. You swore an oath okay. to uphold the constitutional oh, rights country. of the Irish people. Absolutely. Yes, we'll do it. And aren't you an Irish person? On your oath. Aren't you an Irish On your oath. Aren't you? Are you going to let me go? I haven't got the information that I've requested from What party on Irish Constitution requires me to answer your questions? Well, you're required under the Road Traffic Act, and you're required under the Health Did you stop me under the Road Traffic Act or the Health Act? All right. Which is it? You know, he asked that. Honestly, it doesn't matter. He could stop you possibly under both of those acts. And the Road Traffic Act probably gives him the right to ask questions, ask for your identification, even if he stopped you under a different act. They're not mutually exclusive, sir. And this officer said that there's a right constitutional right to travel. He got tricked by this sovereign citizen goofball. You can address me as good citizen. Am I free to go? I'm sure you are a good citizen. Am I free to go? Am I free to go? Are you detaining me or am I free to go? Over the east, I don't know. 
I'm a rape because my fucking rights have been abused by an unelected corrupt government that you're out here protecting. Unelected? It's really? Is it? Um, I don't answer questions from strangers Mr. at the roadside. Mr. Citizen? I don't answer st questions from strangers at the roadside. My business is personal, and it's called personal and private for a reason. Okay, but when you're using a vehicle in a public place... I am using my private property on my roads under my constitutional right to not, travel this country. But it's not just your road. It is. No, it's not. Oh my God, do you not it's understand not, it at all? It's not just you that owns this road. Am I not a citizen? I don't know. Sure, I don't know who you are. No, nah, well then you don't need to know. <laughs> You've upheld your oath to defend my right to travel, not to interfere with it. Your, your oath is to defend my right to travel, not to interfere with it. It's not a real right. Your oath is to defend my right it's to you. travel, it's not you. interfere with it. It's you who's obstructing your own... Oh, my God. Get away from my private property. Get away from the private property. Get away from my private property. Public servant. On your oath... Go do your job. I am doing my job. No, it's not. But I am. You don't work for the legal system. I... Pardon? You do not work for the legal system. I your don't... oath is not to the legal system. Your oath is to our constitution. I can't hear you. Would you put the window down? No, I will not. Make out what you're saying. No, I will not. You can hear me just fine. Well, I can't you know exactly what I'm saying. I'm saying it for the last 10 minutes. Are you going to honor your oath? Are you going to break your oath? I'm not breaking anything. He should be breaking this guy's window. You're, at the minute, you're unlawfully leaning on my private property. When What's your name and badge number? I don't know number one. What's your name and badge number? I don't know. You're required to identify yourself. What's your name and badge number? What's your name and badge number? What's your name and badge number? And I'm simply making a requirement. I'm not. You have not. Three hallmarks of the sovereign citizen so far. The right to travel. Am I being detained? Name and badge number. And the oath. You haven't even identified yourself yet. You refuse to give your name and your badge number. <coughs> so who do you think you are? I'm a member of Angarda Shea Corner. Right. Identify yourself. As you're required by your policy, identify yourself. Is, is your name Liam? The car is registered to a Liam. Is that you? I don't answer questions from strangers at the roadside. I've been advised not to answer strangers' questions, especially ones I don't know, don't trust, and refuse to identify themselves. So you refuse to trust the police, do you? We don't have a police force. We have Garda Shea Corner. Okay. What the... With this guy's level of behavior, I don't know how they're not investigating him for a DUI. I mean, drag him out of the car and give him a breathalyzer. A fuck are you? you Fraudulently misrepresenting yourself no, as a no. crime police force? I'm simply Fraudulently misrepresenting yourself as a crime police force? Are you? Sorry, I just... What did you say there? Um... So you're fraudulently misrepresenting yourself as a crime police force, is that correct? Oh, no. What are you then? Are you a guardie? Yeah. Right, you're going to defend my right to travel? Am I which? Are you going to uphold your oath and defend my right to travel? I am going to right, uphold my oath. Am I free to go? No, listen to me. So you're not honouring your oath. Are you detaining me? I want to make sure. I don't care you what you want to make sure of. Other road users are Ach, safe. Piss off. Piss off. Other road users. You want to come up with any more garbage? Knows. Garbage, 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 okay. garbage. Garbage, garbage coming out of your mouth. 
Jay, no. is there any more shite you can come up with now? No, none of it is shite, actually. Oh, yes, it is. No, no. I get a kick out of the word shite. Uh, we, say, we say shit over here in the U.S. It's just shit. But shite, that cracks me up. I like it. Are you going to defend my constitutional right to travel this country? I'm not. Yes or no? Hold on for a second. Yes or no? That's not a yes or no. Of course it fucking is. No, it's not. How's it not? No. How's it not? No. Are you guardy or not? Well, what do you think? Oh, well, if you're a guardy, you'll defend my constitutional right to travel unhindered. If you're not a guardy, you're going to continue to abuse my lawful rights, which I don't surrender to some wanker made up a load of legal bullshit off the top of his head. So are you calling me a wanker? Did you make up this coronavirus legalese? Are you calling me a wanker? Did you make up this coronavirus legalese? Are you calling me a wanker? Did you make up this coronavirus legalese? Someone from the UK, uh, please tell me what level of insult is wanker? Uh, it seems to be pretty high. Is it below the F word or above the F word? It's kind of like here in the States, when you make fun of someone's mother, you've crossed the line. Wanker seems to be some sort of line at wanker. This guy driving the vehicle, he's a wanker. I called the political asshole who made up this legal shit and ass a wanker. Are you refusing to give your name and address? No, nope. I've not refused anything. No, but you have. No, I have not. Just for the purpose. I have defended my constitutional rights. Just for the purpose. You don't like the fact that I've defended my constitutional rights. Do you have your driving license, sir? No. You don't have it on you. I don't answer questions and I don't carry ID. I'm not required to. The chief inspector has recommended that we do not carry any kind of documentation in our cars because if the car gets stolen, then we are subject to identity theft as well. So we can let you move along there. You may call me Liam. Call you Liam. And what's your second name? I am not required to provide that. Just your second name. No, I'm not required to provide that. I am not required to provide that. I'm the lawful owner the of this vehicle. Okay. Right, okay, fair enough. Well then, Mr. <clears throat> Mr. Lean, then, do not drive that car. You just told me I'd be free to go. I said you said I would be free to go once you were provided with my name. Now you're proven to be liars. Now you're proven to be liars. You were provided. Oh, Jesus Christ. Name. All we're looking for now is your surname. Oh, you're just, you're just a liar. You're just a liar. You're just a liar. They said name and address. Again, these officers way, way too nice. No, you're doing brilliant. Fair play to you. I know nope. it's difficult and it's hard. Nope, you're not getting any more information. We're, uh, we're getting there. Yes, if, we could, if we could ascertain that this man is the lawful owner of well, this I'm... car, then we'd be happy to let him travel on. Until okay. I know such facts as that, I'm afraid our hands are tied. Have you any proof that I'm not? Explain it to me. Have you proof that I'm not the lawful owner? I don't have proof. It's not subject on to me to prove that I am. It's on you to prove that I'm not. Uh, that's incorrect, sir. It's on you to prove that you are. All they want is your name and address. Why are you being so awkward? Oh, Jesus Christ. How much more of our rights need to be taken away? Sure, none of your rights are taken oh, away. Oh, fuck, really? Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ, you people, are, you can't be that stupid. I'm not stupid. Liam, 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 are you the registered owner of this vehicle? Told you no, I'm the lawful owner. Okay, is your second name Aylward? Is it? Once we can satisfy ourselves that that's who you are. Are you going to confirm that once you confirm my second name, that you're authorizing me to leave? Once I can confirm. Are you confirming you are. or are you attempting to unlawfully retain my information for the purposes of detaining me? Liam, is your second email word? 
or I can call you Mr. Liam. Mr. Liam, under the Road Traffic Act, we're trying to... Establish... You didn't stop me under the Road Traffic Act. He told me stop me under some nonsense corona Checkpoint. Checkpoint. virus act. Yes. So which is it? Under the Road Traffic Act. No, you can't switch. That's against the law. Yeah, you can. You can only... Stick with what is originally stopped me for. Wrong. Nay. Wrong. You are authorized to ask. Yeah. I can deny, and I'm saying no. And what's your address, sir? Where are you currently residing and calling home? At my home. Where? Well, you see, now you're fishing for more information, so now you can't be trusted. You've proved you can't be trusted. They can stop you under two laws, and a sergeant Liam. at that doesn't know our oath, doesn't know our constitution. What example are you showing this guy? Okay. Now, are you going to uphold your oath in a... What would that be, sir? To our constitution. What, oath, what other oath do you take? Do you take an oath to the legal system? Uh, Do you take an oath to the legal system? Is your surname what's the surname? Aylworth. Is your surname Aylworth? Is that correct? Yes or no? Have you identification? <coughs> You're back to running out on the phone. Sorry. Aylworth, is it? Now he's got a second camera. What's up with this? Liam, is your surname Aylworth? Two cops, two two recording Liam. devices. Is your surname Aylworth? Come on, Liam. Oh, yeah. Just show them your ID. Your window should have been broken Liam. long ago. Liam, we're speaking to you now. Okay, yeah, record. You can record it and then you can play it back then when you get home. Would you mind uh, producing your driving license and certificate of insurance or exemption at a guard station of your choice within 10 days from today? Yeah, sure. If you're prepared to pay my fee. Absolutely, yeah. Right, that'll do uh, then. Okay. What guard? Don't you, move. No, no, not Liam. Finished. Just for not the purpose finished. of the Please take your hand off my property. Please, for the purpose of the record. Please take your hands off Liam. my property. You're not listening. You're not listening. You, you, you have to tell me what guard station you're going to. Balnamore. Right. Can I leave now? No, I'm sorry. Balnamore, he said. That was it. Balnamore. 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 I can hear you, so if you can hear me. Ballinamore Guard Station to produce your driving license within 10 days from today, okay? Do you understand? What's your name? Do you understand me? Identify yourself, Guardy. Do you understand? You've still not identified yes no. yourself, Guardy. It's yes or no. You've still not identified yourself, Guardy. Yeah, perfect. Okay. I already affirmed that I would when I told you the office now. Thank What's you. your name? Don't forget. To What's your name? Thanks to you. Guard of what? You can go on now. What's your name? You can go on. Leave. What's your name? You can go on. Leave. Identify yourself, Sergeant, as you're required. You yes, I am. Right, well, you can stop shouting at me first. Well, you wouldn't answer me, would you? Well, you, you, you. Who are you talking to? I'm, I'm talking to you. I'm your sunglasses on. I'm trying to be very calm and polite here with you. I was polite. At me. Okay? Okay. Can you please identify yourself? You want to pull in there now, because you're holding up the whole road here. If you want to do that, please, that's no problem. Way too nice, ladies and gentlemen. Way too nice. They may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedoms. This was the William Wallace of right to travel, sovereign citizens, and he just couldn't stop screaming. And these officers, way, way, way too nice. He should have had his window smashed, dragged out of the vehicle, even towards the end there, when they're trying to let him go, he can't help himself. They have no clue if they got the right information for him. He's wearing sunglasses, et cetera, et cetera. An important legal point, you can, uh, police officers can stop someone under one, 
two, three, four, five laws. And sometimes if you make a stop under one law, they have additional powers under that second law anyway. So for instance, the traffic code might say, if so-and-so is stopped for any lawful reason, he has to present his ID. Well, their lawful reason could be the new coronavirus law or coronavirus act. So it's not, it doesn't have to be one or the other as William Wallace in there claimed it needed to be. Uh, just way too much from this guy, way too much patience from these officers. They should have dragged him out pulled his car up, investigated him for DUI, drug use, etc., etc. Uh, this is one that got away. Thank you for joining the Common Sense Academy. I hope you enjoyed my uh, commentary with the content. If you like, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Free way to support the show. Thank you.